Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to another video. This time we will be playing Modern Warfare 2. No, oh, I'm just joking. We will be using Modern Warfare because uh, we used it in the Overclock video. So that's why we're gonna use it in Underworld video. What Underworld thing does? It will help you maybe lower some temperature, power usage, and uh, you won't believe it, but it actually fixes coil wine. So uh, in this video, we are going to talk about. Uh, two ways how you can uh, undervolt your graphic card one is a simple but not that effective way the other one is uh, involving a certain uh, program that will help you set cpu i mean uh, gpu frequency and force voltage so uh, yeah let's go ahead and go number one all you gotta do is open intel arc control panel uh, i just open it right now see you go to performance press configure and all you gotta actually do is just lower the bar here to let's say 120 uh, volts i mean not volts wattage watts and uh, you will see now that we actually get maybe a little bit better temperature, we have uh, less uh, electricity usage, uh, even less voltage, it's there at 0 0.9 right now, but the GPU clock speed dropped from 2400 to about 2000, which is not that ideal, and uh, yeah, I will show you guys how you can actually undervolt your graphic card with intel arc oc tool i will leave it down in the description below and uh yeah i will show you how to go with uh, that program it's much more effective than this and let's say we drop here to 100 watts see the performance even drops below uh, 80 fps where before we had around 100 but uh, we are using about 100 watts now and the clock speed is 1.7 1.8 gigahertz uh, which uh, is uh, not that great as you can see before we had 100 fps here now we are at around 80 but okay we are saving some electricity so for some people maybe this might be an option let's put it to the max and see fps like i said see we get about 100 fps so that was a 20 fps reduction for about 60 watt reduction which uh, right now it's hitting around 160 watts as you can see there and the voltage is 1.7 uh, so yeah this is not the way to do it uh, let me show you how arc tool uh, does it so here we go we open arc tool we go here to we have here this small window we click here the last one arc oc and uh, then we have this uh, here what we have here is actually power limit, uh, the, this one that I'm changing now, because if you see, we change now to 120 watts, and it will actually apply 120 watts like it's now, so you actually don't need Intel Arc Control Panel to adjust the uh, wattage and uh, volts. I would just maybe advise you, once you figure out this software, you will have a lot of playing to do, because... Uh, you can force here, see, put max, it changes, it works just like it works in Intel Arc Control Panel, but uh, we need to leave this at the default. 190 watts must be, because we are setting the above two values. Uh, clock frequency to 2.4 gigahertz and let's set the voltage to 0 0.95 but as you can see when i set to 0 0.95 it actually provides 1.15 volts which is a bit too much so let's try and 0 0.9 and we drop to 1.1 1 .1 volts which we now need to actually drop to about uh, 0 0.95 so all we got to actually do is uh, drop this to about 0 0.83 0 0.85 and uh, see how it goes it's even uh, more so let's drop it below that let me quickly here put maybe 7 7.9 let's see how this goes and uh, 0 0.975 volts we got about uh, 20 watt reduction here as you can see it's not using 160 but it's uh, 140 and the uh, gpu clock speed is still the same so uh yeah we just saved a bit of power delivery here so maybe your electricity bill will be then uh, for a euro or two less which is fine 
but the temperature as you can see we dropped from 72 to about uh, 66 which is also an improvement let me go reduce a bit more uh, and see what happens Chuck. oh you you don't see it but uh my game uh, crashed just right now <laughs> <laughs> when I was setting uh, the uh, watts, I'm back again from Kulag. This time, using previous setting. Uh, let's see if it's stable. You can expect so if you underworld too much, you can get crashes. So I advise you to really take it slow, baby steps when reducing the voltage, and uh, you will get it there. But make sure you test it in a lot of other games because. The underworld might work, let's say, here right now, see it's working just fine in Modern Warfare 2, but let's say if I try it in Returnal, it won't work that good, so uh, yeah, make sure to test it out, oh, see I was also talking too soon, again it crashed, and <laughs> but this time I boosted some voltage up, and uh, yeah the game worked then fine so make sure you really 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 test this out if it works in one game go to the other game and test it out if it works in that game maybe find another game and test it out because you really want to get a stable overclock if you ask me so if you want to drop the voltage lower but you don't mind decreasing uh, clock speed to let's say 2.2 gigahertz or 2.1 gigahertz you can actually do that so let me quickly test it here 2.2 gigahertz see now it's forced we dropped some voltage let me try some more before it crashed when i put this but i uh, see right now at 0 0.9 volts we are still uh, gaming uh, no worries no problem uh, 200 megahertz drop clock we, we don't actually see that much uh, fps performance lost so uh, maybe it might be a good idea for you guys to try 2.2 gigahertz under volt and drop that voltage as low as you can because right now you saw maybe a five percent difference if in performance and we got about 45 watts less usage if not even more, but see right now when I put it to 2.1 gigahertz, the performance is still there. We got about 110 watts, which is also good. But here suddenly we are not getting 100 FPS. We are getting it around uh, 97, 98, 94. I don't know. You guys decide. What do you think it's best? Uh, what kind of underworld you would like to have? I usually just overclock the graphic card and be done with it because uh, I want that additional performance boost. So uh, yeah, let me just quickly show you as an another bonus here that it fixes coil wine. This is stock setting coil wine on my card. Okay, so now we have here underworld 0 0.85 volts, 110 watts, 2000 megahertz clock speed, a bit of performance loss, but uh, the point of me setting this is for you to check this out. Yep, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but uh, no more coil wine on this graphic card. So I saw that at around 120 watts uh, there was the coil wine present, so keeping it under that is fine. But uh, there is some performance loss, so keep that in mind. But uh, we just saved like 70 watts for the same performance and less coil wine. So let me know how it goes with your cart. Subscribe for more videos and see you in the next one.